Uh, Captain, have you found Tweak and Dash yet? I'm mighty worried. The good news is I'm getting close. How is the evacuation going? Uh, pretty well. Uh, so far, we've uh, loaded up alligators, uh, flamingos, and turtles in armadillos. Very good. Don't worry, I'll find Tweak faster than you can say. Bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Almost got the power back on. <sighs> there. Now, I just have to get inside this panel. <sighs> oh, cabbage. Hey, Dashi, hand me that crowbar, please. Already on it. <sighs> <sighs> It won't budge. Let me try. Well, that didn't work. <clears throat> Perhaps I can help. Captain, are we glad to see you? Hmm, let's see. <clears throat> oh, how did you do that? It's a polar bear thing. There. Full power restored. Excellent. Ranger Marsh, look who I found. Hi, Dad. Ah, thank goodness you're safe. We've moved most of the critters here into safety, too. Except for this one little mound of dirt in the swamp. It's got a few trees that are home to a bunch of tree snails. Tree snails? I remember them. Cute little things. Yeah, if the trees get blown down, those poor little fellers could get hurt. Whoa! But there's not enough time to get the tree snails and finish getting everybody else to safety. Don't worry, we'll get the tree snails. We'll have to fly around the worst part of the storm. Hurry! The hurricane is moving in fast, very fast. Then we'll have to be faster. Activating turbo mode. Ready, Pony? Ready! Hello! Storm's here! Time to go! <laughs> Whoa! How does he do that? I guess it's a macaque thing. Pony! We're out of time! Just one more! Bunny Patty? Mmm, I'll uh, save it for later. Which way should we go? I say you go with the flow. If the weather's not this way, we come back and try the other way. No, 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 matey. Let's do this the pirate way. A pirate chance, of course, and sail straight for the... I'll go this way. Looks like it's decided then. You and I will go down this tunnel. I'll lead the way. We know this wetter lives in the dark. So he could be anywhere. Quasi, Pani, I forgot to tell you something about cave wetters. Don't startle them. If you do, they're likely... Shellington? <sighs> We're so deep underground, the radio on the Octo Watch won't work. <gasps> Did you see that? See what? I'm not sure. It could have been a wetter, or maybe a spider? A spider? Um, new plan. You lead the way from now on. Are you afraid of spiders? <laughs> Me? Whatever gave you that idea? Pony! Hello? I don't suppose you're in trouble, are you? You mean, apart from dangling off a ledge? Uh, no, I don't think so. I've got you, matey! <laughs> Sweet, that was a close one. Ah, there you are. As I was saying, cave wetters are likely to jump out to anyone who surprises them. 
Yes, all right. We're kind of the jump first and ask questions later type of weather. No worries, me hearty. That's the pirate way, too. All right. Back into the dark for me. So long. Well, looks like we just went on one big wild wetter chase. All the wetters we found seemed okay to me. But that bird definitely told me he saw a wetter in trouble. Wait, what did that bird look like? Um, let me think. Uh, pink legs, uh, black wings, and a thin bill. The black wing stilt. That's the one. And they only live in an area near Lake Tasman. Which means we've got to go right back to where we started. With no signal, we can't use the map on our octo watches. Like I always say, a back up gets your back out. This compass should point us in the right direction. <gasps> Look, poor prince. Maybe it's the new species you've been looking for, Shellington. Or maybe it's a cave monster. A ferocious beastie, guarding his cave pearl treasure, forcing any pirate who dares trespass on his domain to solve a riddle, or a math problem, or a recipe for tapping out the pudding. And if he gets the answer wrong... Ha! Huh. These prints look feline to me. I'm feline too, Shellington. And these cat paw prints are much bigger than mine. Something's found its way in from that direction. That means there's a way out. Oh, cave monster. Quasi. In all my years of caving, I've never seen a cave monster. Well, there's something stalking us. And now I know why. We found its cave pearl treasure trove. Quasi, um, I don't think that's such a good idea. What? I'm not afraid of any scallywag cave monster. <sighs> along now. Quick, in the river. Our octo packs double as flotation devices. <laughs> Hang on, it's gonna get bumpy. <laughs> The good news is, I'm pretty sure we've made it to the main chamber. And the bad news? I lost my compass in the rapids. Ah, don't worry, mateys. The other octonauts will find us. Unless that creature finds us first. Uh, which way now? Only one way to tell for sure. The pirate way. Because a pirate never loses his sex. Yeah! Ah, right then, we don't go this way. Ah, uh, I found it! The, the way, way out? No, but I think I've discovered a new species of woodlouse. Woodlice on the surface are dark coloured, but creatures who live in the dark are often white or have no colour at all. That's nice. Now, would you mind shining that light somewhere else? It's hurting my eyes. Oh, sorry. Ahoy, matey. I'm Quasi, and this is Shellington and Ryla. Any chance you know the way out of here? Well, I don't know which way is out because I can't see from living in the dark. But I could tell you that that way is cold and wet, and that way is warm and dry. Warm and dry means sunlight, and sunlight means a way out. Clem! Clem! Where are you? Over here! I found the algae! <laughs> Oh, it's stuck. I can't budge it. Don't worry. I have some rope. If we tie it around the rock with the algae, we can pull it free. That's brilliant. Just have to make a knot. Well, hurry it up, partner. It's real cold down here. Ooh. OK. I've finished tying the knot and... There. Oh. Oh. I never was too good at tying knots. Me neither. But I know someone who is. Periwinkle! Hi, Mum. Why are you in the dark? Oh, you know, just doing some deep diving with your Uncle Shellington. And Clem. Cool. Periwinkle, could you show us how to make that knot you learned to tie? The bowline knot. That's the one. Sure. I've been practicing. You make a loop here, then you put the end through and wrap it around like this. 
Pokemon, it worked! Oh, Periwinkle, I'm so proud of you. Now try yours. All right, uh, through the loop and around. Uh, oh, Perry, it worked! Oh, thanks. No problem. Bye-bye, Mum. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. We did it! Oh, now, let's get this back to the others. Good idea, but which way do we go? Uh, I think I came out from there. Hmm. Wrong way, dead end. I'm not sure how much longer Clem can last down here. It's too cold. To tell the truth, I'm so cold I can't even f f feel my fins. Shillington, are you all right? Did you find Pearl and Clem? I found them and the algae, but no, we can't find our way out. It's like a maze down here. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe I can show you the way. It's so dark down here, I can't see a thing. Wait, I can see that. Whatever incarnation that is. Dash is camera light and the octolift. <laughs> Just in time. Put the algae rock in and follow the light back up. Thanks, Dashy. Wow, look at that! I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond!